Let's build multi-unit rental lots in every single world in The Sims 4. This is part three and we're building luxury villa beachfront apartments in Sulani. Here we are in Sulani on this beautiful lot. I still can't get over just how beautiful and gorgeous the landscaping is in the world of Sulani. So I thought that this lot would be an appropriate size to build our beachfront apartments. It's a 30 by 40, so it's a pretty decent size. It also has private access to the beach right here. So it's obviously very luxurious. And we are going to be going for an ultra luxury vibe with this one. You guys all seem to really want me to do something in Sulani, so here is me delivering on that. So thank you guys all so much for your comments. Don't forget to let me know down below what world we should tackle next and what kind of multi-unit lot we should do. You guys know that you are literally the driving force behind all of my videos. I don't know what I would build without your suggestions, so thank you guys so much for always leaving such amazing suggestions. Okay, let's get started. Now, full transparency, I am using this inspo pick to help me out today. At first, I thought it was way too modern for Sulani and it would kind of ruin the vibe of the island, but I really just loved the landscaping and how it integrated so nicely into the environment. I like how the building is kind of nestled into the palm trees and hidden behind all the greenery. So I thought that this lot in particular, given how lush it is, would kind of lend itself well to this photo. So I'm gonna do my best to try and preserve this nature vibe. I think in the photograph, this is actually one large mansion, but I'm gonna try and split it up into four different luxury units. Okay, here's the basic structure, I think. So on this side, we just have two units that mirror each other. These are probably gonna be like one bedroom units. And then to make things more interesting, on this side, this is gonna be a larger unit. So we'll be able to fit more bedrooms here and it'll just be more exciting for gameplay since I don't think it makes sense to have like four identical one bedroom units. But now I'm gonna go in with the flat square tool and make our little roof pieces. For these modern homes, it's always a little bit tricky to roof them, but I find the easiest way is to just create a platform and extend it like one square past the structure. I usually like to raise it up by like two or three. It just creates the perfect amount of dimension. I'm also going to add a little balcony piece going around the entire perimeter. In the photo, there's definitely like a balcony that connects the two structures. So I think I'm going to pull this across like so and make kind of like a courtyard or like communal area in the middle here. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I like all the dimension going on. Now I'm gonna go in with some big modern glass windows and I'm also gonna add in some railings while I'm at it. Okay, windows, doors, stairs, and fences have been added. I use the stairs and the doors from Island Living. I wanna try and use as much Island Living as I possibly can in this build for obvious reasons. And then this fence is from Spa Day. The windows are from Eco Lifestyle. Now for wallpaper, we definitely need to go in with some sort of beige stone or concrete. I'm thinking this unbent smoothness from base game. I also know that Jungle Adventure has some really good concrete textures as well. Here's the Jungle Adventure concrete I chose. It's called Solid Concrete and it's just like this off-white beigey color. I think it matches what we're trying to go for. It does look very bland right now, but that's because I haven't done any of the landscaping. So fingers crossed we can trust the process and the landscaping will really liven this place up. Please hold while I go in with a disgusting amount of palm trees and landscaping. Seriously, now's a good time to go take a bathroom break because this might take a while. Six and a half hours later. Okay, here is where we're at with the landscaping. Landscaping. I put a ton. I wanted it to look super lush. I also wanted it to blend in with the surrounding environment I also ended up changing the wallpaper to a darker shade of beige I felt like it just blended in with the sand a little bit more I'm gonna be honest I'm at the point where I can't tell if I love this or I hate this or not, but we're in too deep Let's keep going I'm pretty sure one of my biggest issues that I'm having is it doesn't look luxurious enough. Like the photograph looks a lot more luxurious than my version. So I'm gonna amp up the luxury and go in with a spa day fountain. Okay, I'm a lot happier with that. It makes it look much more luxurious and like a grand entrance. Now I'm gonna go in with one of these for rent mailboxes. This one has three mailboxes, which is perfect because we're gonna have three units here. Also, by the way, this sign here is from high school years. I thought it would be good as kind of like the apartment complex's name. But now that the front of the building is done, I want to work on the sides because I want to give each unit a private pool. I know it might be a little bit weird because why would you want a private pool when you basically have a private beach just steps away? But I will say, and comment down below if you agree with me or not, a pool vibe and a beach vibe are very different and totally not interchangeable. Like if I want to lounge by the pool and swim in a pool, it's because I want to be relaxed and safe. Whereas going to the beach, you get all sandy. And if you swim in the ocean, you could literally get like swept away by the ocean at any minute. And it's very dangerous. And sometimes there's no lifeguards. And there's also living creatures in the ocean. And it's just a completely different thing, okay? In my opinion, they're just not interchangeable at all. Therefore, we need a private pool and also a private beach, okay? Are we all on the same page there? Maybe it would be fun to have a little wraparound moment as well. And let's make sure to put ample lounge 
lounge chairs. These ones are from the Island Living Pack. And maybe even a cute little barbecue station back here with like a picnic bench or something in case we want some snacks by the pool. And here is our private pool area all done. I love the L shape. I also love how if you're sitting in these lounger chairs, you have a ocean view, which I think is absolutely perfect. So these two one bedroom units will actually share this private pool. And then I think I'm gonna go in and give this unit over here the exact same setup. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the private pool section for the larger unit. I used all the exact same furniture as the other side. I just changed the pool shape up a little bit so it's not like an exact replica. But with that, we're almost done with the exterior. I'm just gonna add a few more finishing touches on the outside. Okay, first of all, in this upper courtyard area, I think it would be nice to have like a communal fire pit area. Maybe use those couches from the Desert Lux kit. An outdoor fireplace could also be really cool. Isn't there like a Desert Lux fireplace or something? Oh yeah, this one. I like barely use this object, but I think this would be really nice to have. Let's move the fire pit seating over to this side and then we'll make another kind of outdoor living room here. Okay, this get together patio set looks really cute. Now on this back blank wall, I'm just gonna go in with more of these spa day fountains just to integrate better with the downstairs decor. And I'm just gonna finish off with some casual loungers facing in this direction. You do have an ocean view looking on this side too. So we wanna make sure that whatever ocean you wanna look at, you have a nice place to do it. And there you have it. Here is the exterior of our luxurious beachfront apartments all done. I think this is gonna be the epitome of luxury and relaxation. I love how we have 360 views of the ocean. Honestly, you can't really ask for more, but please let me know down below what you think of the exterior so far, but I want to move on to everybody's favorite part, the interior furnishing. Okay, so here we have our three units. So I think I'm gonna work on the one bedroom units first. So I think it makes the most sense if you walk into like the main living, kitchen, and dining room area, and then we can put the bedroom and bathroom downstairs. And like I said earlier, I wanna use as much island living as I possibly can in this build. So we're gonna go in with these island living wood floors and then maybe look at the wallpapers too. And I must say, it feels really good to be building with island living. If you guys are kind of new to my channel, you might not know, but the launch of island living was the first time I ever got to go on an EA trip. Like they flew me out to LA to go play island living with early access at EA Play. This was back in 2019 and I legitimately had 3,500 subscribers at that point. I was by far like the smallest creator invited. Like looking back on it, I don't even know why I was invited because everyone else had like hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of subscribers, but I just hold that experience so near and dear to my heart because it was so much fun. And it also really motivated me to like take my channel seriously and like really put my all into it. So who knows, had I not been invited on that trip, I might not be a full-time Sims content creator. It is really interesting because sometimes you just need that like one little spark of inspiration or like one quote or one instance or event, or you meet one person and that like really sparks motivation in you and then changes the entire course of your your future or your year or your life. So yeah, for me, it was getting invited to EA Play, but maybe for you, it's watching this video. So if you've been looking for a sign to start a Sims YouTube channel or a TikTok or start that really cool project that you know is a really good idea, but you just haven't done it yet, now is the time. Seriously, you don't need to already be successful for cool opportunities to come to you. They can happen anytime. Like seriously, the fact that I went on a brand trip when I had only 3000 subscribers is living proof of that. Okay, I'm just going in with some kitchen counters and also an island as well. These counters are from the Island Living Expansion Pack. And this is a luxury apartment, of course, so I'm going in with some nicer stainless steel appliances. Now everything's looking very brown. I need to go in with some greenery to add some life here. This plant from the 4 Rent Pack is actually really good because it's really small but is quite impactful looking. And then we'll finish off this kitchen with this leafy motif rug from the 4 Rent Pack and I'm just sizing it down once. And here's the first kitchen all done. It's simple and sleek and totally move-in ready so your Sims can jump right in and cook a nice meal. For the living room here, I think I wanna try and make the island living couch work. I don't actually use it very often at all. It's this one right here and it's actually quite like modern and nice looking so I don't really know why I don't use it. Maybe it's the color swatches that don't really fit my usual palette. We are going for a darker modern vibe in this unit though so this black swatch could work. And then I guess let's try and make these coconut chairs work from island living. I feel like these are so underrated. They don't get used enough, but they're just so cute. Okay, we are in desperate need of a rug and I have two options. I can either go island living rug or I could go fluffy rug. 
These Island Living swatches are so nice, but they might be a little bit too colorful. So maybe a happy compromise would be to bring the rug downstairs for the bedroom and then go with the fluffy one up here. We'll make sure to choose it in this beige swatch so it matches the walls too. I also added this small little dining nook here with this base game marble table and these laundry day dining chairs. I thought they fit the island vibe really well. Now I'm just gonna go in with one of these island living end tables here to tie in with the coffee table. Now this is kind of tough because you don't want things to look super matchy matchy or else it looks kind of tacky so I think I'm gonna hold off on using any more island living furniture pieces and start incorporating some other modern pieces from other packs. Like maybe this plain pendant light from the seasons pack in like a white or neutral swatch and also these plants in the corner in a more modern vase. Now I'm just gonna go in with some curtains and I think these sheer ones from the desert luxe kit are perfect. And here is our open concept kitchen living and dining room on our first one bedroom unit all done. It's honestly really spacious and super luxurious looking and you can definitely host like quite a few friends over here which is really nice now i'm just gonna work on the entrance here super quickly and then i'll be right back here is our entryway all done just a simple shoe rack coat rack and a mirror is all we really need now i do want to add a painting to this blank wall here and you know my eyes just immediately go to the egg painting so i don't know if it fits the vibe or not probably not but you know, you can never go wrong with the egg painting in my opinion. And with that, I think it's time to move on to the bedroom and bathroom downstairs. Let's do the bathroom really quickly because I really want to use some of these new for rent floor tiles. I think they look really luxurious. I think this black and gray one could be really fun for a bathroom. And then let's go in with our DIY glass shower. It looks like we actually have enough space for a standalone tub. So I might try and use this island living one right here. Okay, I just added some base game finishing touches like the hand towels and the toilet paper. I also added this spa day mirror and the spa day toilet and finished it off with this snowy escape fluffy rug. And here is our bathroom all done. I think it's a good mixture of like the islandy vibe with some of these island living fixtures, but also modern and new with the spa day items. So let me know what you think of this bathroom. Let's move on to the bedroom. Okay, for this bedroom, I did promise I would use one of these island living rugs. Now it would be really nice if we can use the island living canopy bed as well, just because that one is so beautiful. For end tables, let's go in with these black pedestal ones from the Growing Together pack. I think this adds a nice modern touch. And then for side table lamps, why don't we go in with this rock salt lamp. I feel like this is kind of giving island vibes too. Now on this side of the bedroom, we do have some space to put a small desk. Now, okay, does anybody else get these two icons mixed up all the time? Like the dining room icon legit looks like a desk with like a laptop or a computer on it. It's not giving dining room to me. Cause I've been building in The Sims 4 for over half a decade. And to this day, I get these icons mixed up and I never click the right one. Tell me it's not just me, okay? I need some validation here that I'm not losing it. To make the room a little more luxurious, I'm gonna go in with this glass city living desk instead. I mean, it's kind of uncalled for, not gonna lie, but I think we can make it work. And then we need to pair it with the luxurious ergonomic office chair as well. Okay, what else do we need? I guess we need like a dresser, maybe a mirror, and then that's it? We just need the basics here. We're not trying to go overboard. I still am really in love with this dresser from the four rent pack. It just looks like it would be a really good quality dresser in real life too, which is why I really like it. There's an awkward gap behind the dresser, so I'm just gonna put this clothing rack there kind of to act as like spare like out of season clothes or something and then now we have room against this blank wall for a large full-length mirror here and of course we're going in with my favorite one from the jungle adventure pack i honestly haven't used this in a hot minute so i'm glad it's making a comeback today okay i just finished off the room with this overhead fan from the island living pack and this beverage painting it's probably my second favorite painting after the egg painting and here is our downstairs bedroom all done i think i did a good job at keeping the color scheme consistent with the upstairs and I also like how spacious this bedroom feels and there is still some more room here for activities if you want to add some small skilled building items and there you have it here is our first one bedroom one bathroom luxury unit all done in this apartment complex I definitely went for a darker color scheme here so for the second unit on this side I think I'm gonna go for a pretty similar layout but maybe go for a lighter color scheme vibe so let me know down below what you think of this first unit and let's move on to the next one 
Okay, plot twist. I actually decided to make this second unit a two bedroom unit just to make sure that all of the units are different. That way it provides the most flexibility for your sim households to pick the unit that's right for them. Because I was thinking it was kind of redundant to have like two literally identical mirrored units. So I wanted to change things up. So for this second unit, the upstairs is gonna be the exact same. And then downstairs here, you can see I floor planned it out a bit. We have one bedroom here, a second bedroom here, and then one small bathroom downstairs here. So I think this is a pretty good use of space. This bedroom in the first unit was like abnormally large as well as the bathroom. So I figured we could pull this off. First things first, I'm just going to add all of our normal kitchen essentials like the utensils and the paper towel. Honestly, here's hoping in 2024 we get the option to favorite items because I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a little bit tired of scrolling through a huge catalog just to find the same kitchen items that I always use in every single build. Like it's 2024, we need to have a favorites button by now or genuinely just a section of like most used objects. Like if they notice you use particular objects a lot, the algorithm picks it up and recommends it to you. Needless to say, there are a lot of quality of life improvements that can be made to the game. So let me know which improvements you guys wanna see this year. And that's gonna be it for our lighter color scheme kitchen. It's basically the exact same as the first unit. Now I'm gonna grab this marble table again to make a little two seater dining section. Obviously we'll go with the white swatch for our light color scheme and I think I'm gonna change up the chairs and choose something different. For some reason, I'm kind of drawn to these paranormal stuff pack chairs. The wicker fabric kind of feels island and beachy to me. Okay, that's looking super cute. Now let's work on the living room. We really don't have a lot of TV stands to choose from, which is kind of ridiculous because we have like 50 DLC or something like that and only a handful of TV stands. Step it up, Sims team. For coffee table, I'm gonna grab these end tables from the Desert Lux kit and just push two of them side by side to together like that. And then for accent chair, this one from Island Living. I think this one is so pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with this modern light fixture from the Book Nook kit, just so the interior doesn't look too rustic. And then also add this cozy basket of blankets from the Cottage Living Pack. And you might be thinking, why would they need a bunch of blankets if they live in a hot climate literally next to the beach? And to that I say, there is nothing more cozy than cuddling up under a warm blanket with the air conditioning blasting. <laughs> Just kidding, don't do that, don't waste electricity. And here's our second unit's living room all done. It's very calm and muted and relaxing. And can you just imagine sitting on the couch here and looking out at the ocean? That would be amazing. So I'm just gonna do the entranceway really quickly and I'll be right back. Yes, I am continuing on the legacy from the previous unit and adding the infamous egg painting. Actually, this time I'm gonna use the pancake and bacon painting. Is that, those are pancakes, right? like chocolate chip pancakes or blueberry pancakes or something. I think I think this meal actually looks a little bit better. This one's just egg and oranges. This one's got bacon on it, you know? I think I choose this one. This one's the better one. Okay, upstairs is all complete. Let's move downstairs now. And as usual, I think we should start with the bathroom. And I guess we kind of have to go in with some curtains since the bathroom is literally facing the pool right here. This bathroom is a little bit smaller than our first unit, so I don't think we'll be able to do both a shower and a tub. And here's our one and only bathroom all done. I used all the same items from the other unit's bathroom. I just chose lighter swatches, but I actually really like this one. Despite it being kind of a small shape, it still feels like it has all of the luxury amenities. So let's move on to one of the bedrooms now. Before we move on, it's time to take a drink break. Cheers. I'm drinking like sparkling water. <laughs> what are you guys drinking? What is your drink of choice at the moment? Okay, here's the thing. So this bedroom here is smaller, but arguably it could be better because you do have ocean views from your bedroom, whereas this bedroom is slightly bigger, but you're basically just looking at a wall and that's the only window that you have. So let me know down below which room you honestly would rather have. And I'm actually going to turn the bed around to face the ocean like this. I know the feng shui on that is not correct. Like you don't want to have your door to your back per se, but when you have ocean views, you really just can't pass up that opportunity. And I think I'm going to furnish this one more kind of like a kid's bedroom and make it slightly more youthful. I think we can fit a small little desk here so they can do their homework and stuff. And then this chair is from the pastel pop kit. So it matches the end table perfectly. <laughs> For dresser, let's go with this narrow one from the tiny living pack and kind of attach it to the desk to make it look like a built-in set or something. And then we'll still have room for a full-length mirror over here. I think this one is from the Growing Together pack. It's really pretty. Okay, I added a blarfy and some clutter on the end table. Now I'm gonna go in with an island living rug. I really like this rug because it's pretty small, so it's perfect for kids' bedrooms. Okay, the room is pretty much done, but I do wanna add one last finishing touch to spruce it up. I'm gonna grab these hanging fairy light curtains and put it on top 
top of the bed to make it kind of more like a princess bed. It's kind of hard to make a kid's bedroom luxurious, but if there was luxury for kids, it would be this. <laughs> but with that being said, let me know what you think of this kid's bedroom. Let's move on to the primary bedroom. Okay, I don't think we can use this canopy bed in this room because it's too small, so it kind of overwhelms the room. So I'm gonna go in with this other bed that we got with the Island Living Pack. We must take a second to appreciate that the Island Living Pack did bless us with two double beds and two single beds, which by today's standards is pretty generous. There isn't a lot of room for end tables and lamps, so I'm gonna put these sconces on either side and then grabbing these white jungle adventure stools as end tables. We have not yet used the fluffy rug in this unit yet, so luckily this bedroom is gonna get this luxurious rug. Okay, I just added this island living ceiling fan as well as the same dresser I used in the first unit, the infamous beverage painting, and then I also made this cute little reading nook. I think this looks so cozy. The bookshelf and lamp are from Groin Together. This I think is from the Modern Lux kit, and then I used the coconut chair again to give it that beachy feel. So this is our primary bedroom all done. It's pretty neutral and spacious, and I think that this this unit would be good for a small family, like two parents and one kid would be perfect here. So please let me know which unit you like better down below, the lighter color scheme two bedroom or the darker color scheme one bedroom. And with that being said, let's move on to our final unit. Okay, so this third unit here is actually huge. It's gonna be so luxurious. This is the floor plan I've decided on. Up here is gonna be the living room and then it's gonna flow into the dining room. Here is going to be a powder room, maybe like a half bath. And then over here is gonna be our massive kitchen equipped with a breakfast bar and everything. Moving on to the downstairs, we're gonna have three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Up here is gonna be the primary bedroom with an ensuite. This right here is gonna be our secondary bathroom for the two secondary bedrooms. There is a ton of space in this unit. I feel like in real life, this would cost like fifteen to $20,000 a month in rent. Not to mention they have their own like private lap pool. So let me know how much you think this would cost in real life in monthly rent. But genuinely, my guess is like fifteen to $20,000. <laughs> Okay, I wanna start with the living room here and I'm happy because we have this blank wall set aside so we can put a really big flat screen TV here. We have to go big or go home, baby. We're going with this massive TV from the city living pack. For couches, we're gonna go a little bit more elevated and use these modern Desert Lux couches. And then I can't resist using the matching Desert Lux accent chairs as well. Okay, here is the general living room layout I've gone with. So everything is either from the Desert Lux kit, the Island Living Pack or City Living. I use the black city living fluffy rug here which i think looks really good in this really big open space i tried to do it in white at first but i feel like because the room is so bright and open already it kind of wait a minute i think i actually like it in white better it honestly looks so airy and breezy so scratch the black i'm actually gonna change it to white i'm gonna go in with some clutter and some plants and stuff and then we'll move on to the dining room okay here's the space all cluttered up really minimal clutter here i wanted to keep it really like sleek and classy i also reused a lot of the items that i used in the other units just some vases from the island living pack this stack of magazines from moschino this jungle adventure plant and then this book nook kit lamp which i think adds a good modern touch now for for the dining room here. I don't make the rules here, but I'm just saying it's a big flex if you can fit like a ton of people at your dining table. <laughs> I don't know about your dining table, but my dining table can fit a total of two people. <laughs> I have two chairs only. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of conflicted because these chairs, while they look luxurious, I don't know if they're exactly beachy or not. So I'm hoping that if I add this island living pendant light, it will make it look a little bit more islandy. Perhaps in this dark swatch here to add some drama. Maybe some island living wall decor as well to kind of match our pillars here. Okay, and that's gonna be it for our dining room space. I think I'm actually really happy with the glass and more modern elegant chairs. The juxtaposition of these more modern items against some of these island living textures I think is creating a really cool effect and is definitely giving island luxury. So let's move on to the kitchen, shall we? Okay, the first thing that I wanna do that is absolutely essential in my opinion is create this breakfast bar because not many homes are big enough to actually accommodate this. So you know I have to do it here. I'm just grabbing this restaurant booth from dine out and slotting it into the corner then just grabbing a simple table and snapping it to the booth. My game froze. 
Hi everybody, so unfortunately my game froze and I lost a lot of work, so I had to go back and refurnish the entire previous unit, but let's get back into this final unit and I'll show you guys what I've done. So here is the breakfast bar I was talking about, I just used the dine out booth and I decided to go with this bright happy yellow color. And then on this side I went for a large luxurious kitchen, so I did have room to put this extra coffee bar and appliance counter which I think is nice. So moving on to the bathroom, I just furnished this bathroom again very similarly to all all of the other units and let's move downstairs now. Moving into the largest bedroom first, I used the Island Living Canopy bed, of course, looking out at the beautiful view. I paired it with these modern wooden end tables from the Desert Lux kit and then these modern lights from the Book Nook kit as well. For the rug, I went for this more homey one from Growing Together. I think the colors really complement the room and it also contrasts nicely against these large modern windows. And then on this side, we have a simple wood dresser from the Get Together pack paired with this Jungle Adventure full-length mirror. But this primary bedroom does have have an ensuite bathroom here which is a nice touch and yeah it looks the same as all the other bathrooms throughout this entire apartment complex so nothing too exciting there and then this is the shared bathroom for the two secondary bedrooms going down the hallway here we just have this landing area i decided to put these two bookcases here they're from the modern Lux kit and they're so beautiful i love the glass i low-key wish that it came in a plain version too like one that wasn't cluttered already but you know we can always dream and then over here we have our second bedroom this one's slightly bigger so maybe Maybe for the older sibling perhaps, but we have a double bed from Island Living with the matching Island Living end table. This woven rug is from the Tiny Living Pack. I thought that a neutral rug would pair nicely with this loud bedspread. And then we just have our desk and dresser set up in the corner here. But overall, I think this would be a great teen or young adult bedroom. Over here is our third and final bedroom, and I thought that this would be great for a kid's bedroom. So I have the Island Living single bed with the Tiny Living end table. And I wanted to go for this bright bluey turquoisey color scheme here. I thought it complemented the ocean vibes perfectly. And I used a lot of the same items that I used in our previous kids bedroom in the other unit and also some base game accents as well. Okay, and that's gonna be it for our third and final unit. I really love how this one turned out. It's definitely the most luxurious and for some reason it feels like very realistic to me, which I'm really happy about. But I wanna show you guys what else I added off camera. So I also added this event space underneath here. I used mainly items from the Desert Lux kit down here and then also added these string lights from the toddler stuff pack this cool dance floor from get together maybe all the people who live here are huge partiers and they like to throw a party like every friday and invite the entire island i don't know or maybe you want to come here to have your wedding and this is where you're going to have your reception or something but either way i thought this was a good space to have kind of like a flexible recreational party space and I also think it would just be so fun to like be dancing and then go chill by the beach afterwards too. Well, you guys, here is our Sulani luxury apartment complex all done. I absolutely love how it turned out and I'm really impressed that we actually were able to pull this one off. You guys know that real life photographs oftentimes don't translate to the Sims game, so it's always kind of a gamble to use a reference photo or inspo pic. But I think in this case, the gamble paid off and we were still able to make something modern, but also integrate it into the nature of Sulani. Overall, I feel like all of the units have a similar vibe. So whichever one you choose, you're still gonna get that luxury touch. But I did try my best to use as many island living objects as possible to give it that beachy feel so it doesn't just feel like a modern city apartment. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Let let me know down below which unit is your favorite, the one bedroom, two bedroom, or three bedroom unit. And don't forget to download this lot so you can place it in your game. My EA ID is just Dr. Underscore Ashley. And now that I'm saying this, I'm realizing that I forgot to put the Strangerville Motel up on the gallery. So I'm gonna do that right now as well. If you guys are enjoying the series and you want me to continue, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And comment down below which world we should build in next and what kind of multi-unit rental lot we should build. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys next week. And as usual, I hope you guys all have a very above average day. Love you.